In this tutorial, I'll show you how to migrate VRChat SDK2 worlds to Udon and Cyanter. This process will use a script I've created to migrate all the VRC triggers in the project into Cyan Trigger. This script will be limited to my Patreon at first, and eventually released for free after more features have been added. With that said, this script will not migrate everything. If you would like to see what will and will not be migrated, check out the migration wiki page. At the time of this video, all VRC trigger events and actions can be migrated, but buffering is not supported. Some other components will be migrated, but standard asset scripts and UI events will not be migrated. This will change in the future as more features are added. Before moving forward, know that this migration process cannot be reversed. Back up your project. Having a backup will prevent you from losing data if anything goes wrong during the migration. If you accept the risks involved, let's get started. This video will be following along with my migration guide. The link is in the description. Checking the guide, the first step is to make sure your project is on Unity 2019. The Urchat is currently using Unity 2019, and the new Udon SDK only supports 2019. If your SDK2 project is not on 2019, then you must follow VRChat's guide to update it to Unity 2019 first. Assuming your project is in 2019 and ready, let's move on. For this video, I'll be converting my first public world, called LabEscape. This project was originally created back in Unity 5.6. I've already gone and updated it to Unity 2019, as well as duplicated the entire project as a backup in case anything goes wrong. Do not skip this step. Back up your project. I am not responsible if you lose data. Before we start the actual migration process, you should download a few items. All the links to these will be in the description. First, download the latest Udon SDK from the VRChat's website. Make sure to click the one that says Worlds. Next, download a Cyan Trigger from my booth page. The migration script is not part of the default Cyan Trigger package, and must be downloaded separately. Depending on when you are watching this, it will either be on my Patreon for early testers, or it will be on my booth page. Check the description for the current link. With all of those downloaded and ready, we can begin the migration. First, open your 2019 project and then open your world scene. Make a new build for VRChat and verify that everything works as expected. If it doesn't work here, then we already know it won't work after migration either. Once you have confirmed it all works in VRChat, we can move on. In Unity, open a new scene by either pressing Ctrl N or going to File, New Scene. If you have the scene open after switching SDKs, Saving accidentally could end up breaking references. Next, open the Project Settings window. We don't need it now, but having it open will save some time later. With those two things done, close Unity. Since you have verified your project works in VRChat, this is the last point it will still work in SDK2. If you haven't done so already, back up your project. Assuming everything is backed up and you are ready to break your project, it's time to start deleting stuff. Open the Assets folder for your project. First thing to delete is the SDK itself. We are done with SDK2. Make sure to keep the VRChat Examples folder, as any prefab like the VRC world, portals, or avatar pedestals need to stay in the project. Next, any script that uses SDK2 components needs to be deleted. In my example here, I know that Cyanemu and the EYC Inspector reference SDK2 components. These need to go. With those deleted, it's time to reopen Unity. If all SDK2 dependent scripts have been deleted, there shouldn't be any errors in the console. If there are errors in the console, delete or fix those scripts as well. Find the project settings window you opened earlier and select the player tab. Scroll down until you find the script defined symbols section. We need to delete the reference to SDK2 here as well to ensure that everything compiles properly. Select all items, delete, and press enter. After the project recompiles, Check the console again to make sure there are no new errors. Do not continue if you have any console errors, as this could break the migration. Since my console does not display any errors, this project is good to move on. It's now time to import SDK3. Give it some time to let it import everything. Once it completes, close and restart Unity. Restarting Unity will ensure that everything in the SDK is properly loaded. Check the console one more time to ensure that there are no errors. Do not continue if you have errors. <laughs> Please fix those first. Now, import Sign Trigger into your project. Give it a moment to import everything and then recompile. Once that is finished, 
you can now import the SDK migrator. With the migrator imported, we can adjust the settings on which files and folders it's allowed to migrate. The migrator checks two files to know if it can edit specific folders and files on the project, the deny list and the allow list. The deny list file is already created when importing the migrator, but you can also create the allow list to limit things further. Using the default settings should work, but it will take longer to complete as it checks files that do not need to be migrated. If you have a lot of assets that do not have VRChat components, it would be a good idea to add those items to the deny list. Another option is to move all of your SDK-related assets into one folder and include that folder in the allow list. For my project, all the important files for migration are included in this underscore folder and the VRChat examples folder. I could add those to the allow list to prevent modifying other files, but this project is small enough that it doesn't matter. At this point, my project is ready to be migrated. But since I'm being overly cautious, I'll warn yet again to back up your project. The migration system will try to modify most of the files in the project. If something happens, it might not be recoverable without using a backup. If my warnings haven't scared you off yet, it's time to finally migrate the project. To do this, go to Windows, Sign Trigger, and click Migrate SDK2 Project. You will get this pop-up, explaining some of the points I've already mentioned in this video. When you are ready, press Yes and watch it go through your project. Depending on how many assets you have in your project, this could take a while. I'll just speed up this part of the video since you don't actually need to wait through it all with me. <laughs> if you check the console, you can see the results of the migration. It will indicate which files it migrated or skipped in the process. There may be a lot of warnings or even some errors indicating something couldn't convert. If you included the VRChat examples folder for the migration, then you will get errors about send RPC not being able to convert pano and video options. If you get an error that breaks the migration process, please let me know in my Discord with both the full error text as well as the file that broke it. This will be the easiest way for me to look into fixing the problem. If the migration completes without any serious errors, then it's time to verify everything by testing in VRChat. Find the scene file for your world and open it. Check over a few objects to see the generated sign trigger. Make a new build for VRChat and go through your world to see if anything didn't convert properly. As I mentioned in the beginning, not everything is supported in the migration. The version of the migrator used in this video only handles converting VRC triggers. It does not handle standard assets, animations, and UI events. At this point, the migration is finished. Your world is now Udon. Congrats! You can finally add that pool table to your hangout world. I want to thank all of my Patreon supporters. If you want to see more VRChat video tutorials, prefabs, or editor tools, please consider supporting. That's all for this tutorial. If you have any questions on the content of this tutorial, let me know in the comments or join my Discord. If you want to know what other things I'm working on, follow me on Twitter. Until next time, thank you for watching!